guys, it's Judy and welcome to a new video. So today I have a Christmas book haul for you guys. So I'm going to be talking about all the books I've recently hauled that are Christmassy. So we've got a lot of Christmas rom-coms and some really exciting books to talk about. So I do have quite a lot. So go and grab yourself a nice hot drink and a cosy blanket and get ready to watch this video and hopefully get some good book recommendations to read during this holiday season. Because this is the stack that we have to go through today. So I was not kidding when I said I had a lot. So yes <laughs> okay so first up we have these really adorable little cloth bound classics by penguin so i was very kindly sent these by penguin and they are adorable and obviously just generally perfect for this time of year and obviously also as a gift but i am planning to read this one at the front here this month which is the nutcracker so this is an adorable little cloth bound edition and obviously it's small if it's in your pocket it's easy to carry around with you and yeah i'm very excited to read this because i've never ever read it before and obviously it's a classic christmas tale so we do have the nutcracker then we have big blonde by dorothy parker so this is the second one that they sent me they also sent me snow country as well which has this gorgeous festive cover i love this cover and then lastly we have oscar wilde's the star child which looks like this here so yes thank you so much to penguin for sending me these but i can't wait to read the nutcracker i'm very excited so next we have all i want for christmas by maggie knox and can we just take a moment to appreciate how adorable this book cover is i love it i feel like christmas books have the best book covers i am just obsessed with this it looks so cozy and cute and the little doggy is adorable at the bottom so all i know about this is it's supposed to be perfect for fans of the hating game by sally thorne which is a romance book i did really really enjoy so i feel like anything that is kind of compared to that book i generally do tend to like because it usually has tropes or scenarios in it that i do enjoy in romance but this is a festive rom-com so i will read some of the blurb to you guys so it says when Sadie and Max were selected as contestants on the famous reality singing show Star Makers special festive season, Sadie thinks she's finally gotten a big break and Max sees a chance to step out of his megastar father's shadow. Then they're paired up for the duet week and stun the world with their onstage chemistry. With fans going wild for hashtag sexy, the judges demand they remain a duo on and off stage or exit the competition. Faking a relationship shouldn't be too hard except for one small problem. Sadie and Max can't stand each other. But with their dreams just within reach, they agree to the ruse will their relationship bruise be exposed before they can win or could their fake connection turn out to be real by the christmas finale so yes we have fake dating in here and it just sounds so good i love anything with fake dating in and i'm excited to see what the dynamic is between them if they hate each other i love it when we go from like hating each other to loving each other it's one of my favorite things in romances and this just sounds super super fun i love the sound of this like reality tv show as well so yeah i'm very very excited to read this one so next we have just like magic by sarah hogel and i recently saw olivia rudelatte talk about this and it just sounds really really fun so basically with this one we have betty hughes and i don't know if she's like some kind of influencer or something but she has this really extravagant lifestyle that she kind of flaunts on social media but her family has no idea she is actually broke and yeah she's feeling like the pressures of like the christmas season so she decides to get drunk one night and she accidentally plays the christmas record of all i want for christmas is you backwards and somehow it summons something and somehow it summons this person called hall and it says here hall is a charming and handsome man who's the literal embodiment of christmas spirit what's more he has the power to make all of betty's holiday wishes come true no matter how bizarre so this sounds super weird it almost sounds a bit like a weird twist on um the Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens with like Ebenezer Scrooge and like the three things there. It kind of does sound a bit like that. And yeah, Hall ends up pretending to be her like fake fiance for the holidays. But the more time she spends with him, the more time she's wishing it was real. And then she did have this real fiance that is Hall. And it says here, Hall promised he would make all of Betty's holiday wishes come true. But as the time on earth draws to a close, she, she wonders if all she really wants for Christmas is him. So yeah, I'm very intrigued to see how this will kind of play out because i can't tell if this whole guy is like a ghost or something or what i don't think this is classed as like paranormal romance or anything but at the same time it's definitely not your average rom-com so i'm very excited for this one it does have that kind of fake dating as kind of trope in and it just sounds really different to a lot of christmas books so i would be really interested to see how this one plays out but also a little scared because 
Is he just going to disappear or is he going to stick around? So next we have Once Upon a December by Amy E. Reuchert. And this one we have a main character called Astra, I believe. And she literally loves Christmas. Like she is the embodiment of Christmas spirit. But unfortunately she is going through a really bad divorce at the moment. So she goes to the Milwaukee Christmas markets as she does every year. But this time they have a whole different meaning behind them. And yeah, she's just ready to have like a nice Christmas. Forget all about her divorce. Eat, drink and be merry. And then she meets this really nice stranger who saves her the nicest Kringle at this market. And this guy is named Jack. And he's kind of always like existed in this little town. And then he meets Astra and she kind of shows him what he's been missing outside of this little like christmas world that he's kind of in with this like little market and it says here after a swoon worthy series of dates some yuletide magic and the unexpected glow of new love astra and jack must decide whether this relationship can weather all seasons or if what they're feeling is as ephemeral as marshmallows in a mug of hot cocoa so yes this just sounds really, really cute i feel like the setting for this is going to be really nice with like this kind of little festive town like market and obviously like this new romance between them i just think this is going to be so fun and i love the cover for this one as well this is another stunning christmas book cover i love it so much like it's just so beautiful and i'm really excited about this book so next we have this jenny holiday book which is so this is christmas and again another gorgeous book cover so i believe this one is like part of a series it says on the back it concludes her beloved royal christmas series with an unforgettable romance about a confident american woman and the straight laced royal advisor who falls hopelessly in love with her so i haven't read any of the other books and i don't think you have to to read this one although i could be wrong please let me know in the comments but this one just sounded so good um i literally only read that bit on the back at the top and i think i'll leave it like that and not read any more because i would just like to go into this one not knowing much it sounds really cute we obviously have royalty and i feel like we have two characters that are very at odds with each other like total polar opposites who obviously have to spend time together over the christmas season and then fall for one another it just sounds really cute and yeah i've never read anything by jenny holiday before so hopefully this will be a good one and hopefully I'm not making a mistake by not reading the other books first. <laughs> okay, so this next book I actually got in my Illumicrate Afterlight box. I think it was that one. And this one is called Make You Mine This Christmas by Lizzie Huxley Jones. And this has such a cozy cover. On the back, it says, All she has to do is pretend to be Christopher's girlfriend. All she has to do is survive Christmas. All she has to do is not fall for his sister. So that just sounds so freaking good um, and really, really cute. It has red sprayed edges and it is signed by the author, I believe, as well. So yeah, we do have a little author signature here. Um, I'd never actually heard about this book at all until I received it in my Illumicrate box. So I was really nicely surprised by this book. So I will read the synopsis. So it says, it's the golden rule of pretending to be someone's girlfriend. Don't fall for their sister. After a year from hell, half is ready to blow off steam at a Christmas party. A kind stranger, a few too many drinks, and suddenly she's kissing Christopher under the mistletoe in front of his ex-girlfriend. The next day, the news is out that they're apparently a couple madly in love and coming to Oxlea to spend the festive season with Christopher's family. But Half doesn't have better holiday plans and to save her new friend from embarrassment, she agrees to pretend to be Christopher's girlfriend for Christmas. It has the makings of a hilarious anecdote that they'll be telling for years until Half meets Christopher's sister, the mysterious, magnetic and utterly irresistible Kit. Maybe love was waiting for Half in this quiet little town all along. So yeah, this sounds really, really good. I love the sound of this and the small town cozy vibes as well and the romance sounds like it's gonna be so adorable so yeah i cannot wait to read this one. Oh, and under the dust jacket it has snowflakes all over it i just thought that was really really cute so this next one is a proof i was very very kindly sent and that is you're a mean one a matthew prince by timothy jonofsky and i believe this is the same author who wrote never been kissed which i haven't read but do really want to read um i love the play on words for this like obviously it's meant to be like you're a mean one mr grinch i just love that i love anything and it is a play on words and i love this cover i just think it's so cute as well so for this one i will also read the synopsis so it says matthew prince is young rich and thoroughly spoiled so what if his parents barely remember he exists and the press is totally obsessed with him he's on top of the world but one major pr missed up later and matthew was cut off and shipped away to spend the holidays in his grandparents charming small town hellscape population 
who cares? It's biting off his stuck in some festive winter wonderland. It's even worse that he has to share the space with Hector Martinez, an obnoxiously attractive local who's unimpressed with anything and everything Matthew does. Just when it looks like the holiday season is bringing nothing but heated squabbles, the charity gala loses its coordinator and Matthew steps in as a saintly act to get home early on good behaviour, with Hector as his maddening plus one. But even a Grinch can't resist the unexpected joy of found family, and in the end, the forced proximity and infectious holiday cheer might be enough to make a lonely prince's heart grow three sizes this year. This sounds so freaking adorable, and it says here it's an effervescent Christmas LGBTQIA plus new adult rom-com perfect for fans of Shit's Creek and Red, White and Royal Blue. So yes, I am so excited to read this. It sounds amazing. Okay, so this next one is Mistletoe and Mr. Right by Sarah Morganhaler, and another gorgeous, cozy cover that I am again obsessed with. So this one I only recently found out about, and I believe there's a couple of different books you can get. Um, I think part of this series, yeah, so it's like these ones that are in the back here um but i picked this one up and it seems like it's going to be really, really fun um so it says on the back how the moose almost stole christmas and it says lana montgomery is everything the quirky small town of moose springs alaska can't stand a rich socialite with the dreams of changing things for the better but lana's determined to prove that she belongs even if it means trading her stilettos for snow boots and tracking one of the town's hairiest christmas mysteries the santa moose an antlered grinch hell bent on destroying every bit of holiday cheer and tinsel it can sink its teeth into and really how hard could that be the last few years have been tough on rick harding and things aren't getting any easier now that his dream girl's back in town when lana accidentally tranquilizes him instead of the santa moose it's clear she needs help fast and this could be his chance to finally catch her eye it's an all-out christmas war but if they can nab that darn moose before it destroys the town rick and lana might finally find a place where they both belong together so this sounds so cute the fact she tranquilizes him and that's like their meet cute is hilarious and obviously like the fact that he's already pining for her he falls first kind of vibe love that so yeah this sounds like it will be really really funny and really really cute i also love the fact that it's set in alaska because i really want to go to alaska so bad and to be able to read a book that's set there is just so fun so yeah i'm very very excited to read this one then next we have just for december by laura jane williams this is one i've spoken about in a couple of videos already it's on my december tbr and i was planning to read it during my 24 hour readathon which if you missed you can go and watch up here and i'll link it down below i highly recommend you do so because i love that video and i had so much fun I sadly didn't get to this one, but I'm still really excited to read it. So this one has the fake dating trope. Basically, we have our main character, Evie, who is a writer for this movie. And then we have the leading actor of the show who's called, I can't remember what his name is, Duke. And he and her do not get along at all. They really don't like each other. They butt heads. And one day, one of the altercations is caught on camera and it goes viral and the film starts getting a lot of bad press. So to try and salvage things, they decide to fake date and try and win everyone's affection. And in doing so, I guess they begin to fall for one another. So this is a fake dating kind of hate to love romance, but it's Christmassy. I cannot wait to read this. I've had so many good things and I just think it's gonna be so freaking cute. So this next one is a proof. I was very kindly sent by HarperCollins. I was also sent just for December as well, but this one's called One Christmas Morning by Rachel Greenlaw. And I didn't know I was getting this so i'm not actually sure what this one is about so i'll read this one out to you guys and um, this is already out it came out in october but i think this is like a second chance romance potentially they say you know when you meet the one the moment eva locked eyes with james over a library bookshelf she knew she'd found her soulmate over 10 years, they fall in love, got married, and made plans to start a family. Until everything changed one Christmas three years ago, and they've been drifting apart ever since. Eva hopes a friend's Christmas party at an old manor house in Cornwall will give them the chance to reconnect. But the last thing she expects is to wake up on Christmas morning in the body of a different guest. As Eva's forced to keep reliving Christmas Day from the perspectives of those closest to her, she realises just how much her life has fallen off track. But can Eva break the cycle and save her future with James before it's too late so yeah this one sounds really really interesting and like the swapping bodies thing as well i haven't really heard much about this one so if you have picked it up please
please let me know your thoughts if you've read this already but it sounds really interesting and really different to most Christmas stories and I feel like it will be quite fun and I like that it's set in Cornwall as well. So this next one I was also very kindly sent by the publisher and that is A Merry Little Meet Cute by Julie Murphy and Sierra Samu and I've heard this is very very spicy so I need to read it as soon as possible. I've never read a super spicy Christmas book so this will be really really fun. This is also signed as well which is really really cool so I'll just show you the little book plate thing yeah so there we are so i will read the synopsis for you guys so it says when b hobbs takes the lead in a squeaky clean romantic christmas movie there are only three rules one don't get involved with anyone on set two don't tell anyone what you do for a living and three definitely don't get involved with anyone on set and three b seriously <laughs> Now she's filming in Christmas Notch, a small town with Christmas trees and festive tunes all year round. But Bee's got a secret identity to hide and it's not family friendly. And her co-star, Nolan Shaw, an ex-boy band member infamous for his own X-rated antics, not only knows it, but is secretly her biggest fan. When things start to heat up on set, Bee and Nolan must keep the steamy affair under wraps or risk ruining everything. So this sounds so good. I am so excited for a spicy Christmas rom-com and I've heard so many good things about this one everyone has been gushing over it and I just cannot wait to get to it I did import this on my December TBR because I don't think when I filmed it I had this in my possession yet but I will definitely be adding this to my December TBR I cannot wait to read it like I feel like this is going to be amazing even if I don't read it in December I might pick it up in January because I'm just dying to get to it but yeah it just sounds so good and I love this cover as well like I love the pink kind of Christmassy vibe it's just really really cute so next we have another one I've spoken about in my December TBR which is a very merry bromance by Alyssa K Adams and this is part of the bromance book club series which I have not read but if I like this one I will definitely pick up those books so this one from what I remember we have a country music star his name's Colton and he met this woman called Gretchen and she was like the one who got away for him and yeah she was just kind of like you know whatever and left and they haven't spoken to each other since um and she's an immigration lawyer and she's not really feeling the christmas spirit she's seeing how hard it can be on her clients and then her strange family offers her this deal she can't turn down and yeah she can't turn down their help so they offer to help her under one condition that she must get Colton to be the face of this like new whiskey brand thing so she has to obviously get back in touch with him and he says he'll do it under one condition if she gives him three dates and he's hoping within these three dates by Christmas he can make her fall in love with him and he can get the girl of his dreams again so yeah it's a cute little Christmas rom-com apparently this is really good my friend Jan read this and absolutely loved it so I definitely have high expectations and I'm excited to see what this series is all about because I have heard many things about the bromance book club books and i'm hoping i enjoy this one so i can pick up the rest but yeah very very excited about this book and then now we are on to the last book which is the mistletoe motive by chloe Lies. and i read this during my 24 hour reading vlog so if you want to hear all my thoughts and see me gushing over this book you can watch that video I loved this book. I think it might be one of my favourite books I've read all year. I don't know if it's just because I'm feeling particularly festive and this just kind of did it for me or it actually is just a really good book but I think I might have to include it because it was just so much fun. Um, I love this. It literally is the hating game but make it Christmassy, make it booksellers, make it rivals to lovers and if you don't like the hating game I don't think you would like this book but if you're just looking for a really good romance anyway I would still recommend this outside of Christmas. This is so good it has such good representation as well so our main character is neurodivergent and demisexual and then our love interest is diabetic so there's really good diabetic rep in here as well and it talks about a lot of important things regarding all the representation it includes there's also some like topics and like discussions kind of on like toxic relationships and like misogyny which I thought was really good and it was just put in there in a way that made sense within the story and I just really really like that and the story generally is just so fun we have two books booksellers who work in this independent bookstore they are co-managers and they are the only people that currently work there this indie bookstore is unfortunately not doing very well and the owners don't know what to do they're trying their best to save it and yeah 
So we have these two co-managers who don't really like each other at all. They do not get on well. And in the end, they basically make a deal that whoever sells the most books during the next few weeks leading up to Christmas gets to stay and the other one will leave because they believe the bookstore owners will only have enough money to afford one of them rather than two. And yeah, slowly but surely, they begin to fall for one another. And there's also more to what they think. They know each other better than they think is all I will say. And it's just really, really cute. And he has been pining for her. And it's definitely like he falls first. And yeah, rivals to lovers. Kind of like grumpy sunshine. It's very, very Christmassy. It's set in a bookshop. It's snowy. There's lots of peppermint hot chocolates. And it's just so good. Like, I loved it so freaking much i gave it five stars so yeah i would highly recommend this book this is like a really short one as well so i thought that the pacing was really good we didn't have that silly third act conflict that like stretches out for like 100 pages that you do get in a lot of romance books it just was a really really good christmas story i loved it and i would definitely recommend it it's like i just can't like i just can't talk about this book enough like i loved it it was perfect for me a bookshop a christmas a booksellers rivals to lovers I could not ask for more and he's also a hockey player as well as a bookseller so there's that but yeah i love this so highly recommend and that's the last book in my book haul so i hope you did enjoy this video and this bookmas video i have no idea what day of bookmas this is going up on but i hope that you did enjoy it anyway please do let me know in the comments if you have read any of the books i mentioned and what you thought of them and if you have any christmas book recommendations yourself please do let me know in the comments i'm always looking for more every single year and i'm sure lots of other people are i would love to chat to you guys about your favorite christmas books or just general cozy books that you like to read during this time of year but yes don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it i really appreciate it and if you did make it to the end of this video leave a christmas tree emoji in the comments and don't forget to check out everything i've mentioned in the description box so my 24 hour readathon video will be linked there and my previous bookmas videos as well as the links to my patreon and that's where you're going to find extra content from me such as reading vlogs a monthly buddy read a discord where we chat a monthly readathon which is what i did the 24 hour readathon for live shows early access to all of my bookmas videos and extra content generally that is all over on patreon if you are interested well thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you're all safe and well i hope you're reading lots of good books and i'll see you in the next video bye